I expect a lot of the same, more aggression. You know, we know each other now. Um, so I expect a great fight, definitely. She, she'll be ready, I'll be ready. And Tori, what have you been doing to prepare for this time around? Oh, nothing. I, I mean, I train, but it's my fight, so I'm gonna bring it the same way I brought it before. What did you think about the Bermuda crowd the last time around? It was nice, it was really nice. I enjoyed it. Tori, last time we spoke, you know, you were very confident, you used with confidence that you, know, you beat her the last time yeah. around, and you're going to beat her this time. Most definitely. Do you still have that confidence? Yes, I now? still have that confidence. Why? Because I'm blessed. I mean, I've trained hard, and I just feel it's not about beating her. It's about showing the judges that I'm, I, I beat her clear. That's, that's my thing. And now I, I have to fight to show myself and prove to, to the judges. So after, after the, um, the last fight, obviously, um, the, the, the draw decision, do you, do you take more of an edge between you two this time around? I think it'll be a better fight, to be honest. Um, we both know, I don't think either one of us expects exactly the same thing. You think you'd be stupid to think you're going to get exactly that. I expect better from both of us. So, you know, we'll see Saturday night. I think we both feel confident, and that's great. It's going to make for a great fight. Lisa, she's now, she's now lost a rematch. Any concerns there? No, I've never had a rematch, so. <laughs> I'm not concerned. I mean, any other fight wouldn't have felt right to me. You know, I, it's, it, this, this, we got to do it. We got to have a, we need a result. Well, let me ask you both. Um, after the last fight, you came in and grew up. If this fight goes on past six rounds, when do you start thinking to yourself, I need to knock the person out in order to not let it get in the judge's hand? I let you go first three. I mean, I guess everyone wants a knockout, but you don't think that way. Um, well, I don't. I don't. I don't know. But, you know, you just do your best every round. You, it, there's so many people tell you what to do, and you should have done this. But, you know, get in the ring and see what it's like. But, you know, obviously a knockout's always great. I, I only have one, so I don't really know too much about them, but I'm sure it feel great. But Tori's a tough girl, and I'm a tough girl, so I'll, I'll be, of course we would both love a knockout, but she, it's, it's going to be tough for both of us. There's always that nice factor of the unknown, but then, yeah, you, you know, at the end of the day, you kind of do resort back, but depends how hard you've trained. It, everybody's different, so, you know, you just have to wait and see once, once it, the bell goes. Yeah, it's, it's still, it's, I mean, I know she's probably not going to come the same, and I mean, but I'm just prepared for either or. I'll box her if she want to box, I'll fight her if she want to fight. It doesn't matter to me. You know, a lot, of, a lot of it's, right now it's all mental. We put in the physical work. Um, you know, Troy, this is our second fight together. So I think we have the advantage of having worked together for one fight before. But, you know, it's, it's hard to say. I'm not even dwelling on the last fight. Everybody keeps bringing up the last one. But that's done with. We're focusing on this one. we got to do one at a time, and this is it. How important is it for you to have to fight back in the again? To go up personally, you know, the crowd, well, personally, I actually like going, so I love being in the underdog, and nobody knows me, and you come out, I've had my best victories that way, but, I mean, I've done this long enough that I can handle the pressure, I can, I, I want, I, I've asked for this for a long time, and Bermuda, it's finally happening, like, it's been a 10-year struggle, so I'm very grateful it's here, and I'm just happy, whichever way the result goes, I feel confident, but whatever way it goes, I'm just glad it's here, and the fans, you know, they love it, so I know they support me. No, I'm always the underdog. <laughs> always. And for her to say it, I just don't feel that she would be the underdog in her own home. I mean, I'm always the underdog. And so, I mean, she has more pressure on herself for, to, for the win. I don't. But, I mean, I love it. The people here are beautiful. They're so nice. Mm. I love it here. That's time. Last, 
Well, I felt the same way, you know, right after you thought you thought you did enough. So again, it's all in the judge's hands. So I'm leaving my talking for the ring. I don't, I'm not a trash talker. If that's what you guys are looking for, you're not going to get it. But, you know, I know I've put in 110% and I'm ready. To the coaches, after the first fight, what did you see that you need to prepare your fight for this time around? Tori? Yeah. She's got to be busier. She stalked her too much. Stalked her too much looking for that big shot, that perfect shot. It, and you know, you hear it all the time in fights. Let your hands go, let your hands go. You've got to throw more, got to be more active. But I mean, as far as her, the fight plan is good. It was just execution. You know, we don't have to stray too far from what we were doing, but you gotta be, you gotta be a little busier. You can't just look for that one perfect shot. It's not, it never comes. You gotta put punches together. Knockouts are usually a surprise to the fighter also. That, you know, it's like baseball. If you hit a, try to hit a home run, you usually don't. It's just when you take that nice swing, perfect reaction, it goes out of the park. Same way with knockouts. So. so what do you do in the corner to assure her to do that? You stay on point because you can get away from them. You can, you know, you got a big crowd like it is here, electric crowd. Um, you know, that's a, that's a distraction. And you've got an excellent opponent across. It's not much difference between them. It's not like a huge difference one way or the other. So you got to keep them on point. And um, that's that's our job. It's mine and Troy's as well. So, you know, but uh, I think Teresa's right. It'll be a better fight this time for sure. Troy. You have the time from your hand. Yeah, um, I could just say we go. Thank you. Uh, we can stick to the same game plan. My, my little point was the first time to um, outbox her. Um, Tori is a person that comes forward, she likes to slow punch, she likes to get into the mix. So we're going to counteract that. You know, basically, miss, make a miss and make a pay. That's what we're looking for. So, like in, in training, it's nothing like I can say everything, hopefully everything that I'm, once we get in the ring, we're done it in training. So now it's time for you to get in the ring and execute it. That's basically it. Thank you. Thanks, Earl.